Of course, we want to drizzle some oil on it. Feel it. That's so cool. We usually just put a little bit of margarine on top of our asparagus, so we might just do the same with the butter. We're gonna. Hey guys, Sarah here, but I'm not alone today. I'm in here with... Crook neck, Aaron. <laughs> this guy's neck is bothering him. Why is your neck crooked, Aaron? What were you trying to do? He's doing some results, you know, Apparently, on the yeah, exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. That's what happens. Uh-huh. It really hurts. Anyways, Aaron and I are in our messy kitchen because our kids, they have not yet touched their chore zone. So we're in here because we're actually going to make supper together. <laughs> Mostly Aaron because I am currently working what? in the background. That wasn't the uh, agreed. <laughs> that was the agreement. That wasn't the agreement. What you're going to make is not going to, it's not going to take any time you at betcha. all. betcha. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, anyways, tonight we're making that fish that I showed you guys. I want to show them the package. Savvy is sleeping, by the way, and I feel like I'm going to wake him up with my last mouth. This is the fish that we're going to be making. Hubby found it for me. Was it hard to find? No. It was no. Amazing. How come we never found this before? I don't know. We just like, yeah, we never Wild thought to look. Wild Alaskan. Yeah. We typically bought salmon like, May I don't know. Bone. bone? May contain bone. Oh, okay, that's good. Like I showed you guys the other day, I had taken these I had taken these fillets out and have had them in here thawing out for about eight to ten hours. We're gonna be making it with some nice white rice. Aaron's favorite by far. Favorite. Aaron, you gotta too. cross over to brown rice. Brown rice is the healthiest. Babes, I already crossed over. With lots of things? With lots of things. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. You said it, not me. Right, I'm trying to get him on the health track to eat. Because, like I said, brown rice is the best rice. That means that that would mean that we'd get rid of white rice. Oh, oh so, the sigh. Oh. Guys, look at my cabinet. Look at it. This is the reality of the organization. It is looking so nice. I forgot to get you guys Aaron's opinion. How do you like it? It's really clean and it stays clean. Definitely need to order myself another container, an, another set, so I can do the same to this cupboard. Back to our fish. The instructions are very simple. We're just gonna open these. We're gonna take it out and put it on like a sheet of foil paper on top of a pan, season it, put some olive oil on it, and bake it at what, 350 degrees for how long? It's 400 C. For, for 400 degrees for how long? Um, I don't know. Did you not just look at the package? It, it didn't say for how long. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure it said how long on that. No way. It's not a dance. What does it say? Mm. 15 to 20 minutes? 15 to 20 minutes. That's what I said. 15 to 20 minutes. I said 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, let's get on with this. Aaron poured this rice perfectly in the cup before, but then I was like, wait a second, I want some B-roll footage. So he pours it back and poured it again, and it went everywhere. <laughs> it's not my fault, though. It's it's your fault. <laughs> Come on. Oh, someone has, was, it has to be someone's fault. Isn't that was fault? really funny. It went everywhere. <laughs> We're both doing it. Oh, okay. okay. Two babes. It's not even. It's not even. But two. Benji, you're gonna go out in a second. Stop. <laughs> the 
was the longest rice pour ever. It sounded nice. That's why I did. Did Jemmy wash their bunny water in it? <laughs> I'll wash it. <laughs> this is comedy. <laughs> Cooking in the kitchen. I'll wash it in here. Cooking in the kitchen with you is a good laugh. I am washing in here. We'll just attribute this to him being tired because he does know how to cook rice, at least rice. Come on, babe. Wash, that's a, wash, that's wash. a nice thing you got there. How's it going? <laughs> Stop. And then. Which side is brown? Mm. It does tell you, it tells you what level to put the rice at. If it's brown, you stick to one side. I'm not gonna lie, with this jasmine rice, it's a bit tricky. It actually doesn't go to That's normal, what Miss say, that's why you need to drain it normal out. Normal white rice. Drain it out and then put it in no, the No, you water. don't. You can just gauge it in here. It's the yeah, same I never, measuring I never cup. Gave, yeah, I don't gauge it. Just in the Anyways, we're gonna get on with this. Aaron's gonna actually cut the salmon and put it on the tray and I'll season it real quick. So I guess, hey, put that back, ma'am, ma'am. What are you doing? Okay. Yes. No, you cannot put that. Zozo, that's your play kitchen. Zozo wants me to put water in her play kitchen. That's not us. Zozo, come on. Really? Yeah. I guess it's not going to drain anywhere, but you're just going to make a mess. Ask Daddy if I should. Daddy will tell you. Dad, should we put water in her play kitchen sink? Uh, it I, is like a little bowl, but go to, go check and see. Oh, okay. He's a softy. Oh, he'll yes. give in. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Go for okay, it. Okay, Daddy said yes. I know I will regret this. I know I will regret this. Why am I doing this? Whoa. Whoa. What? Don't put the train in there. Play with other things in there. Not the train. The train is wooden. I think deep down I know that's probably a big mistake. But then again, it's just water. What can she do? That's right. <laughs> Make a mess on the floor and then babes will clean it up. Uh -huh. And your hair still didn't get combed. Parent fail. I'll get more water. No, no, we're not getting any more water. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay, I've never had like frozen. We've never prepared salmon from like frozen to thawed out. No, it's usually been pretty fresh, right? Yeah, it's usually, we only buy fresh salmon typically, so this is interesting. It has a little bit of ice on it. Does it still? Okay, so of course we, we want to drizzle some oil on it. Okay, do you want some of the seasoning on there? Just Kirkland seasoning that I put on everything? Yeah, yeah. You guys love to eat the croissants? It's easy. Croissants. Do you want me to turn on the rice cooker? Uh, uh, yeah, I thought I put it. Oh my oh, gosh. Coating them and seasoning, eh? It's okay. <laughs> Basically, that's like the quickest dinner prep. The last thing that we're gonna do is the asparagus. I'm actually gonna leave Aaron to that because I am like wrapping up something in the background. But that will be pretty quick. Rice is in, salmon is in. How long did that take? Literally, like, I think it took like five, five minutes. Five minutes yeah. We have this asparagus. I don't think you guys saw this in our recent grocery haul because Aaron bought it one day in the week, but you didn't see that haul. He stopped at the grocery store twice <laughs> so we need to use this up because we don't want it too bad but it looks really really good still so Aaron's gonna go ahead and give this a rinse chop them up right chop off the ends yeah and put them in one thing I want to say is in the last grocery haul when I did refer to the asparagus as um, Brussels sprouts yep those were some thin <laughs> They are really thin asparagus. They were some thin asparagus. Aspar but they is asparagus or asparagus? I'm not sure. But everyone was saying that the thinner ones are crispy, crispier, and I think they were actually better. Oh, they tasted good. They so, tasted yeah. really good. No, yeah. whereas in these ones can be like meaty rubbery. and chunky and rubbery. Yeah. Now that I know that, I will like you know. And to those who can detect the smell after 
if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can you? No, not really. I, I don't think. I can smell it after. Asparagus? That's Ew. My pee. Oh my. Can you tell when you pee? It smells no, strange. No, I never know. This is the thing, huh? Oh my. Okay. Oh, did we put a timer for the fish? Yeah. It's only 10 minutes? I'm gonna flip it. That's not what it said? I don't know. Did you flip it? <laughs> Do you well, I guess you can, yeah. I guess so. Comment we'll down below and let me know if you guys flip your, your salmon when you cook it frozen. And sorry for the background noise. This, I have a busy toddler who is doing the most. The most! She's playing in water. That's like her second Child? favorite thing to do. What are you doing? Washing your hands endlessly. Oh, wash. she's washing her hands and drying it. And washing it and drying it. And washing it and drying it. Need I say more? <laughs> Guys, Aaron just taught me something. So basically, I'm always saying whenever it's time to prepare the asparagus, I always grab a cutting board and chop the edges off. And he's saying it breaks exactly where it's supposed to, I guess. Yeah, because so, you can feel it. That's so cool. So if you didn't know that, you're learning it with me. We don't all know everything. I mean, this is the evidence because it seems it so It breaks broke. off pretty clean. Yeah, it breaks off pretty clean. Let's see it one more time. Avocado, avocado, asparagus trick. Okay. Right, it just breaks where it bends, right? Very cool. Don't mind our ghetto, uh, <laughs> ghetto foil paper, but our foil paper ran out. No, I'm there's more downstairs. No, I know. I was gonna say, I'm sure we have some. I'm sure we have some more downstairs, but we were just gonna use what we had up here. Mm -hmm. And that's the last of our dinner prep. We're gonna be cutting the salmon and sharing it. And we do have a lot left. I should have taken out another one. I don't know why and I forgot so here we are now. But we're gonna split because they're actually pretty decent sized pieces of salmon. Oh, well, that's what it's looking like. But stay tuned for the finished product. That is, that's that. I'll show you guys how everything looks when it's all done. So guys, our fish is out, but it's been out for a little while. Um, our rice is also completed. But we were waiting on the asparagus, so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of butter. In fact, I don't know if you need to. We were gonna add a little bit of butter on top of the fish and just kind of put it back in while the asparagus is cooking. But the asparagus is done, so why not just get on with eating? We usually just put a little bit of margarine on top of our asparagus, so we might just do the same with the butter. We're gonna go ahead and plate it, and then we'll show you the final product. You guys, so this is a classic example of um, a plate. Babes, I usually plate, I think in traditional plating, we put salmon or meat over here, starch, and veggies. This is a traditional way of plating? <laughs> Isn't is there? there? Oh, I should look it up. I don't know. Yes, I think there is. That's why I, whenever I serve you guys, I always put stuff on the left. I put it on the left, oh. and, right? Nice. But I didn't who's know to that. say? Anyways, guys, this is what everything everything looks really delicious. Aaron did give me some rice. I was gonna eat it with um, quinoa. Oh, oh but my goodness, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, I'm just gonna add some of this anyways. This is what everything's looking like. It's looking really good. And as you can see. It all came together nicely. Thank you for coming in the kitchen with me. Oh, you're me. welcome, honey bun. We should do this more often. If you guys want to see shouldn't. Aaron in the kitchen more often with me, leave a comment down below. How's your Friday night dinner? It's really good. It's not party food, is it? Oh, it is Delicious to me. Delicious salmon and asparagus and rice.
delicious. Mm -hmm. Guys, here's the final product of the brownie. I have yet to try it, but it looks really, really good. I use this Ghirardelli triple chocolate brownie mix from Costco. And uh, yeah, if you guys watch my grocery haul, this is something that was featured in it a while, maybe last month. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. The kids, everyone gives this brownie like a 5 out of 5 or a 10 out of 10. Whichever rating system you want to use. 5 stars. It's really that good. It's really good, yeah. Oh, it was really good. It was, it was really, really good. Did you have it with milk? Yeah, I did. Uh-huh. Typical. Can't. Typical. I can't eat chocolate without milk. Right. Comment oh, down yeah. below, guys, and let us know if you're the same way. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And click the notification button down below. You forgot that, Mom. I always forget that. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Much love. Bye. <laughs> Zoe was having some too. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, Bye-bye. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> How was it? She was adorable. I had some. It was very chocolatey. Was it good? Oh, yeah, it was really good. All right. I'm so tired. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you. I love you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>